Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I will show you how to make this uh, beautiful flower vase painting with alcohol ink and markers. So I first drew a basic outline of the glass and I'm using this color blue violet and also another color glacier. And for the greens I'm using botanical. So I use this wax paper and add uh, the alcohol ink on the side and then use another wax paper and roll it and I use that rolled wax paper to apply some dots on the drawing paper. This is because if you directly pour alcohol ink over this uh, paper, it will smudge so that's why. And I'm using glossy photo paper for this painting and like I always say in my other videos, I use the non-glossy side to paint. That is I paint on the back side of the glossy paper. So first I'm adding this uh, blue violet dots and basically when the dots dry at that time I use the isopropyl alcohol to blend it. So first uh, let these dots dry. And I'm using another color called Glacier. This is almost like blue and i'm going to apply the same way and this is just an abstract painting so you can use any colors to make the flowers or leaves it's up to your imagination but for this painting i chose the blue violet and glacier mainly The dots are dry now so I'm adding this 91% isopropyl alcohol which I put it in a small bottle and then I'm using this blower to gently blow the paint and this is uh, totally abstract so it doesn't matter how in what direction you blow the flowers it's up to your imagination
And for the greens, I am using botanical green and forest green. Those two colors I will be using for the leaves.
for drawing the fine line i'm using this micron 005 a black pen fine tip pen to draw the outline of the flower vase Kali art markers, which is alcohol-based markers for drawing these uh, leaves, and basically you can use any markers that you have. Not necessarily you should use this alcohol-based markers. You can also use regular markers for making this.
so now i want to add some gold leaf so i applied some school glue and i'm using some assorted gold leaf to apply so i use the back side of the brush to add some dots of glue and later on i will be adding gold leaf into that and when you are using gold leaf make sure that once uh, the whole painting is done and it's completely dry you need to seal the gold leaf with a gold leaf sealer which is available in the market otherwise the shine won't be retained so make sure to remember to do that after this painting is completely dry